Well, the first reason why diversity is important on campus is that um, this is an educational institution and learning to live and work with and interact with people whose life experiences are different than your own, and I'm just not talking about racial or ethnic diversity or gender diversity, I'm talking about international versus domestic, coastal versus Midwest, urban versus rural. Um, you know, knowing how to be part of a diverse, multicultural, and, and a different community than the one in which you might have grown up in um, is an absolute necessity for anyone who's going to be successful in a 21st century career and the 21st century world. And if we are going to claim to be a first-rate educational institution, we have to be, among other things, giving our students experiences and understanding of how, you know, of how you interact with people who aren't necessarily like you, right? And um, obviously, we do that a number of ways. Um, some of that is who's on campus. Some of that is by encouraging study abroad or you know, encouraging people to do internships in various places, encouraging people to do community service, you know, get into other environments and get to know people who you would not naturally meet. And that is part of what our education, you know, so if you say you know, diversity and diversity broadly defined is by definition an important part of any education these days. So that, that to me is the most important reason why you need diversity. Um, then there's a whole lot of other reasons that I would say are only slightly less important. You know, one is that if you're going to have a diverse campus, you've got to have diversity across the board. So I can't expect to admit a highly diverse group of students and then have a highly non-diverse group of, of faculty and staff because I won't keep my students, right? There is evidence that, um, you know, people learn better when they have at least some learning experiences from folks who come from backgrounds that are more similar to their own. And, you know, that, you know, we can all think of reasons why that would be true. Um, so you can't just talk about diversifying the student body. You've got to diversify faculty. You've got to diversify staff. Because all of that feeds into um, a good learning experience um, of, in a variety of different ways. You know, and then there is research as well that simply says decisions are better made. Um, when, and, and again, the issue here should not, you should not be thinking just about racial diversity or ethnic diversity or gender diversity. Um, that research just is people who have different perspectives on um, how you think about things. So I, for instance, I've had people um, who've worked for me who are budget people who thought about everything in terms of numbers and budget models. And I've had you know, people who were you know, student advisors who were very empathetic but you know, couldn't run a number if they wanted to. Those are two very different perspectives, but having both of them involved in making decisions is deeply important. You've got to have someone with the, the numbers expertise who's thinking about that, but you also need someone who's really in touch with, you know, how are students going to respond and, you know, what's, how's this message going to come across and, um, you know, what, you know, what are the, you know, what's going to be sort of the, the human reaction that you've got to deal with, and that's equally important. Um, so, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of reasons to think that um, you want a non-homogeneous group of people around you, right, um, in all sorts of different ways.